Hi everyone, I'm Wardy. Welcome to Ask Wardy. We are talking about your Instant Pot today and how cruddy it can get. It's a pain when you pull it out to make something and you find that it's dirty from the last time. So today on Ask Wardy, I'm showing you how to clean your Instant Pot, but most importantly, I'm showing you how to do it easily and naturally so that when you pull it out again to make dinner, you will actually be able to just make dinner and not have to clean it. All right, so we're gonna get into that in just a minute. Let me welcome you to Ask Wardy. I'm Wardy from Traditional Cooking School by Ganalfglins, and this is the weekly show where I answer your questions about traditional cooking. And boy, I have some announcements to make today that I'm gonna save for the end. I have a way for you to get our free Pressure Cooking 2 ebook package. I'm gonna share that with you at the end, so hang on. I'm gonna tell you what's coming next week because it's super exciting, so hang on to the end, okay? And if you're here live, make sure you know, in fact, I'm gonna tell you, askwardy.tv is where the transcript is for everything I'm gonna to share today. So if you're checking this out live or you're coming along later, you can go there and look for this episode on how to clean your Instant Pot to follow along or bookmark it for later, all right? Um, welcome everyone, I'm so thrilled you're here. This is a great question. Honestly, I've been a little bit dragging my feet on it because I thought, oh, Everybody knows how to clean their Instant Pot, right? But then mine keeps getting cruddy and I keep learning these tips along the way, so I decided we are going to tackle it, all right? And I'm getting a comment on Periscope, love my Instant Pot, me too. So this is a question that came from Lindsay and you probably know Lindsay because she writes for us at Traditional Cooking School. Um, she said, I know how to wash the stainless insert of my Instant Pot, but how do I keep the Instant Pot itself clean? The outside edge, which is right here, gets a lot of liquid and crumbs in it that are hard to get out. The inside also has some spots and places where liquid has dripped in. I'm guessing it's not recommended to fill the Instant Pot with water to clean it. No. <laughs> so how do you clean an Instant Pot? Thank you, Wardy. All right, well, you are right, Lindsay. You shouldn't submerge the base to get it clean, and you're also right about it, it gets very dirty. So let's tackle this with how to clean it. And I wanna say uh, something before we get into it. I'm sure you all know this, but I think it needs to be said. The best time to clean the Instant Pot is actually right away after you're done cooking in it. Now, it doesn't mean disrupt dinner, but it, you know, serve your meal, then clean it up because the foods haven't stuck on um, overnight. They haven't dried on, so they're still warm and fresh, easier to clean off. Plus, you're gonna thank yourself the next day when you pull it out to cook because it won't be dirty. So those are the two major reasons that you wanna tackle it before, um, or sorry, right after you cook with it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to clean it. We're gonna go through some tools and equipment and actually how to do it. So the best time to clean your Instant Pot is right after you use it. So if you've served dinner, then right after dinner. This is for two reasons. Number one, because the spills and the messes are still warm instead of dried out. And number two, when you go to cook with it tomorrow or the next time, it will be clean, so you'll thank yourself, okay? Um, two cautions, two things not to do when you're cleaning your Instant Pot. You don't submerge the base in water. This is an electrical unit, okay? You don't wanna get the electrical parts and everything wet. So just like you don't put your iron in water, uh, you don't put your crock pot base in water, you don't put the Instant Pot base in water. The second thing is when you're cleaning it, make sure to unplug it, okay? It should be unplugged when you're cleaning it. This is just extra precaution. Okay, tools you'll need for cleaning your Instant Pot easily and naturally. So we'll go through these one by one. So a washcloth and or a towel. Um, I love these non, these are non-scratch scouring pads. Uh, they're fantastic because they don't scratch, but you can actually scour. And we like them better than sponges. We think that sponges just really um, breed bacteria and that we can more easily keep these clean. I buy this package of three, I cut them in half. So we get like six. Uh, scouring pads out of each and we use these until they're worn out pretty much. So non-scratch scouring pads, pads uh, dish soap, and all-purpose cleaner, or I should say and or all-purpose cleaner. And if you'd like this recipe, this is my homemade all-purpose cleaner, so there's a link with this video. If you're on Facebook, Millie's pasting it in the comments, so just follow the link with this video. There's also a way for you to get um, 
a free glass spray bottle. So you can check that out at the recipe for this homemade all-purpose cleaner. Um, vinegar, baking soda, these are very helpful for helping with scrubbing and odors. Um, and then Q-tips can come in handy too. So don't you love it that all these things are really natural, there's nothing high tech, it's just kind of stuff you already have. Oh, toothbrush, toothbrush. That's really helpful for the nooks and crannies. Okay, so how to clean your Instant Pot. You've got these tools assembled, you've just made something in your Instant Pot. The very first thing you do, and this is really important and it's really the most important step, um, and it's gonna set you up for success, is to fill your sink with hot soapy water. So fill that up with hot soapy water. We do this anyway because it helps makes, make um, dish cleanup so much better after dinner. It's just as, as things are being used, they go in, they may come out before dinner. We often have like very little dishes left after dinner because we're cleaning as we go. Um, but if you have a sink full of hot soapy water, it's really gonna help you with this in particular. So that's step number one. And that's how cleanup begins uh, right after your dinner or right after you're done cooking with your Instant Pot. Fill a sink full with hot soapy water. Um, I already told you this, but unplug it. And then, um, you know, whatever, you, whatever you've eaten, this, the food needs to go somewhere else and you need to take this out to um, free up the base for cleaning, okay? Now, you're gonna put almost everything in that hot soapy water. So that means um, the condensation cup that's on the back. So dump it out in a free sink um, and stick it in the hot soapy water. So I'm gonna just start a pile over here that's uh, pretend hot soapy water, okay? Um, you also need on the lid, you're gonna take your silicone ring out. Careful not to stretch it, put it in the hot soapy water. You have a valve cover here that covers the pressure valve. And depending on what model of Instant Pot you have, this may look different. This is an older one. The newer ones just um, have a circular one that covers this part right here. So this goes in the hot soapy water. And if your sink is big enough, this, sorry, this can come out as well. Um, the rocker top for the pressure valve. And if your sink is big enough, this can go in the water too or it can go by the side until you're ready. But if it can fit in the water, get it in the water. So all this stuff is in the water, soak it. You also want to put, um, it, once food is not in it, this can go in the hot soapy water as well. So just nestle things so they fit in your size sink. So all this can be soaking. If you use the glass lid um, for serving dinner, that can go in there. If you've used the trivet inside, that can go in your hot soapy water too. So all this stuff is now soaking and we're gonna deal with the base. So I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging here so I can show you how to handle the base. And I want you all to know at askwardy.tv or with this video, there is a comment section. So if you have tips you wanna add here, share them in the comments because this is a community effort and I know everybody's gonna benefit from you sharing what you know. All right, so you're gonna handle the base now and this is where your little things are gonna come in handy, okay? Um, you don't wanna submerge this, but you can um, get your washcloth wet and wring it out carefully so you can wipe the inside of it. If anything is just really tiny and needs scrubbing and you can't reach, you're gonna use a toothbrush and or a Q-tip to get all this clean. So anywhere that you can't get with a washcloth, um, do that. And then of course you can do a, a dry cloth, a dry washcloth to just wipe it. Wipe it dry after you've cleaned it all. Um, and sometimes you'll dislodge food when you're cleaning in here. You'll dislodge food and so, you know, it's just a process of like moving your washcloth in and kind of getting that stuff out. So you might pull out crud on your washcloth, so just tap that into the garbage and keep going back until you get it all clean. Okay, the final step on the base um, is not essential, but it, it means that your Instant Pot is gonna look good um, for the future. A lot of us keep them out on our countertops, so it just looks better, is to take your all-purpose spray cleaner and, um, you know, spray the outside and wipe it um, so that this stays nice and shiny. And I don't know if I said it, but when you're using the washcloth, Q-tips and toothbrush to like clean out the nooks and crannies and everything, dip these in the hot soapy water. Um, wring out the washcloth, but you wanna introduce hot soapy water, okay? So now your base is clean. So we'll move it over here. 
Um, and now we'll tackle the sink, okay? So you've had all this stuff soaking in the uh, hot soapy water, and it's just a process of going through and cleaning what needs to be cleaned. So sometimes your condensation cup is gonna have like grime from cooking grains or beans in here. So use a Q-tip or a toothbrush to clean inside, rinse it and air dry it. Um, you might have stuff, in fact, this does have stuff, stuff in your little rocker valve that goes on the pressure valve. So clean that out, rinse it, air dry it, clean this the same way, scrub with your toothbrush, put it in the, um, and air dry it. The sealing ring, the silicone ring, now this may get stains over time, so um, obviously clean it with a toothbrush and air dry it. But if you wanna work on stains, you can scrub it with your toothbrush with baking soda. Um, if you wanna work on stains and odor especially, then soaking might be necessary. So put this in a basin with vinegar water um, and to, to remove odors over time, over a longer soaking time, I mean. Okay, the lid itself, here is where the toothbrush and hot soapy water is gonna help you get into all these places, okay? Um, you might have some on the top, but just use your toothbrush and all of this can go in the water So just rinse it when you're done. This is really easy to clean um, shine it up Your insert pot I purposely left this kind of grimy so I could talk about if you if you can see from here It has like, you know built up grime well Gentle circular motions with soap and a non-scratch scouring powder are gonna clean that all up. If you have anything that's stubborn, you can do baking soda at the same time as you're scrubbing. You can also soak. Um, if it's still more stubborn than that, you can soak and then come back with your baking soda and or scouring powder and loosen it up. And um, your trivet may develop um, if you have hard water, it may develop hard water deposits. Those can be scrubbed off, but your trivet, you could go stronger than a non-scratch scouring pad. Um, that reminds me that air drying, if you're concerned about um, like hot water, hard water spots, you can, instead of air drying, you can towel dry your pieces that you want to look pretty. And this you can see has spots on it. Um, with some kitchen things, I'm vigilant about um, towel drying so I don't get spots, but I haven't been too vigilant on this one. Let's see. So you've washed everything. If you're concerned about hot, hard water spots, you would towel dry, but that's basically it. Um, once everything's dry, you're gonna put it all back together, which I won't take the time to do. But, um, you know, wherever you keep it, I like to just keep the lid all put together upside down on top. Um, always store it with the insert pot inside, then you won't ever make the mistake of filling the base and starting just, you know, that's just, can be quite damaging. Hopefully not fatal, but anyway, you don't wanna have to recover from that. You want the insert pot inside, so when you start putting your food in, it goes in the right place instead of the base. That's how to clean your Instant Pot, easily and naturally. And it all starts with a sink full of soapy water and doing it right after dinner when the messes are fresh and warm and easier to clean. And then when you go to cook, you pull out, when you go to cook again, you're gonna pull out a very clean Instant Pot that's a pleasure to use instead of dreading it because, oh no, dinner, you know, so, so much for dinner getting on the table fast. Uh, now you have to clean it. <laughs> so do it every time. It's quick and easy. It takes no more than 10 minutes, five minutes even, just to make it ready. Um, what was that comment? Uh, great, I'm glad you joined us live again. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have a couple announcements to make. Um, hopefully I remember everything. First is, next week on Ask Wardy, I have been receiving lots and lots of questions about um, the makeup and personal care items that I use. So I'm gonna do a roundup and show you all my favorite products, both purchased and homemade. And I have a guest. Lord willing, I will have a guest. So I hope you'll look forward to that and come back next Wednesday, same time, same place. Of course, the replays will be up at askwardy.tv within hours of airing live, so you can check it out that way if you miss live. But come back next week, because that is our topic. Also having to do with Ask Wardy, as you know, I do this every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. But next week, we're gonna start a half hour later 
And that is so my special guests can join me. So instead of at the top of the hour, it's halfway through, okay? Um, if you're on, if you're a subscriber to my emails, I will make sure to include that information in next Wednesday's email. Um, okay, so that is about next week. I'm gonna cover personal care and makeup uh, products, homemade and purchased, special guest, half hour later. Got it? All right, second announcement. Um, we love pressure cooking. Um, it's fast, easy, healthy, and our specialty at Traditional Cooking School by Ganalfglins is making your Instant Pot and pressure cooking healthy using traditional methods. So I have a recipe for all of you. It's an Instant Pot sourdough cornbread. You'll find a link to it with this video or you can go to tradcookschool.com slash IP cornbread. IP cornbread, one word, or follow the link with this video. It's a sourdough cornbread that you can make in your Instant Pot or a stovetop pressure cooker if that's what you use. Make sure to get that recipe if you haven't already. Um, another announcement <clears throat> was that um, this is pertaining back to the homemade uh, essential oil spray cleaner that I use. We use this in the bathrooms, kitchen counters, outside of Instant Pot, kind of everywhere. It's a great all-purpose cleaner. Um, if you'd like that recipe and to find out how to get a free glass spray bottle for a limited time, you want to follow the link with this video to that recipe, okay? And it's fantastic. I love it. We, the kids are always like, Mom, we need more. In fact, I made more in this bottle this morning. Um, last announcement. I promised that there was a way to get our brand new ebook and video package, Pressure Cooking 2, free. So here's how. A uh, little bit of backstory though. It, at Traditional Cooking School by Ganalfglins, we have a whole membership suite um, for members where they can take online courses. And we're about to start our 13th. I lose count. And the last two courses that have been completed is Pressure Cooking 1 and Pressure Cooking 2. And every time we finish an online course that the members get, we package up all the print materials into a downloadable ebook package that anyone can purchase, really, members or non members. And that gets bundled with a bonus ebooklet and a few videos from the online class. So we just finished earlier this year, we finished our Pressure Cooking 2 e course. So we finished. Um, putting together the ebook package as well. And so I'm about to release that and I wanna share how you can get it free, okay? Um, I have a picture here I could show you. So here it is. This is the Pressure Cooking 2 ebook package. There's a Healthy Living Lineup ebooklet that comes with it and five videos from the online class. And it's kind of like a buy one, get one offer, okay? So if you'd like to get that free through next Tuesday, um, all you need to do is go to our books page and purchase any other ebook package at full price. So they're $20 or there's a Fundamentals 1 and 2 that comes together for $39. Pick any one of them that you'd like, complete the purchase, that's step one. And then step two, you don't have to do, we will do it. Um, come next Wednesday, we will add this ebook package to your account for free. Okay, so it's buy any ebook package, and then next week we will give you this one for free. Okay, it's a buy one, get one. You do need to act, well, starting now through next Tuesday at midnight because we're going to give out the free ebooks on Wednesday. I understand that many of you may be like really excited. And I'm trying to make it super easy for our team and for you. So you just make the purchase, we'll add it next Wednesday. But if you'd like to get it early, all you have to do is reply to your receipt and we will manually add it earlier to your account, the free ebook earlier to your account. Okay, if that makes sense. Um, if you do it over the weekend though, there will be a delay till Monday because I and our other team members are spending time with our families on the weekend. So we won't be able to add it on Saturday or Sunday, most likely. Okay, so that was a lot of information. Um, how to clean your Instant Pot, telling you what's coming next week on Ask Warty, our free sourdough cornbread recipe that you can make in the Instant Pot, um, how to get a free glass spray bottle, how to get a free pressure cooking to ebook package. Hopefully you all followed that. But no matter what, um, just go to askwarty.tv, look for this episode's transcript and everything will be there that I've shared today. And you can bookmark or share, subscribe, uh, like. We love it when you hit the like button and share with friends and family. Uh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful blessing. Thank you all so much for joining me today. 
It's been a blessing to be with you. I look forward to seeing you next week. And remember, it's a half hour later and I'm going to have a special guest. So come prepared to greet my, greet my guest and also come prepared with your own natural makeup and personal care product tips so that we can share with each other. Okay, God bless you all. Bye-bye.